doesn't surprise such a big Michigan fan like you that, you, that, that they're ranked sixth in the country, right? Yeah, and, and good for them. Uh, and, and all the credit goes to the all-knowing Jim Harbaugh because you know, he has handled this year very well. He, he's been quiet. He hasn't uh, taken his team to Normandy or, or to the Vatican or you know, to see the Queen, which is good, which he did the, the first couple of years. He's concentrated on football, and I think he is now showing us uh, the Jim Harbaugh that we, we thought he would be coming from the NFL. And you know, Max, uh, he, he went to the Super Bowl, played his brother. He went to uh, championship games, and he was really a good coach. And I, I think now the season begins, though. He, he plays Michigan State, Penn State, and Ohio State. And, and how he navigates uh, that trio is going to determine, really, uh, what we end up thinking about Jim Harbaugh. And remember, a year ago, he... He was clearly on the hot seat. The university came in and uh, slashed his salary. Uh, and, you know, he took that in, in, in good spirit, I guess, and, and, and has done a really good job. But, you know, Saturday is the beginning of it. It's not the end. Uh, the end is Ohio State. That's how Jim Harbaugh ultimately will be determined, how he will be. De we will decide on whether we think he has been a successful coach at Michigan or not. He is yet to beat the Buckeyes. Hmm, Paul, we talk about the beginning for Michigan starts on Saturday, but the beginning also starts for Mel Tech Tucker, who has done a tremendous job at somewhat revitalizing Michigan State's program after he backed toward the Colorado program a couple years ago, leaving after that golf tournament. What has gotten him in this position that he's in now? Well, I think he, he's taken advantage, uh, like Michigan, of, of a reasonably, well, I wouldn't call it an easy schedule, Keyshawn, but a, but a palatable schedule. And he's made the most out of it. Uh, but, you know, people want to talk about Mel Tucker uh, bailing out on, on Colorado. I don't blame him. Uh, they were not paying him much. They were not supporting him. And he found a place that would support him to the, to the max. And, and, and Keyshawn, you can probably guess where I'm going next. That's why he is a hot coach right now. Even though he's only been there two years and last year, you know, wasn't great. Uh, Are Mel you listening Tucker is to on, my phone on conversations? I, I was, as a matter of fact. Uh, <laughs> I, I hate to have to admit this uh, that that I've got a that I've got a uh, NSA tap on your line. But and by the way, the, that was the tamest of the conversations that you had yesterday, Keyshawn. Oh, oh God! <laughs> Sneaky Paul. Hey Paul, Alabama jumped over both Oklahoma and Cincinnati in the AP polls this week. How important will it be for Oklahoma and since these playoff hopes that their wins are more convincing heading down the stretch of the season? Jay, well, I, I think it's more important for, for Cincinnati to, to have style points in Oklahoma. O Oklahoma plays in the Big 12, and, and, and they have you know, been in every game. I mean, when they're, when they're trailing Kansas, I mean, Kansas is a, is, is a joke. And and we're talking football here, Jay Will, and and the idea that that they, that they would you know be in a game on the road in Lawrence it was unbelievable. But Cincinnati was terrible the other day. They they they, they got out uh, of Navy with a win, but I, I walked away not feeling very good about Cincinnati. And I've had them you know number two in the country a couple of weeks ago, but I, I'm getting very skittish on them. And and they need to they need to perform uh, because. Yeah, they can't sell us on on beating SMU and you know getting Houston later on. Uh, that's not going to impress the country, and and it may not impress this uh, committee that starts meeting this coming weekend. So I think they're vulnerable, and especially because you have teams like Ohio State playing so well right now with one loss. You have other teams that could be uh, knocking on the door with one loss. So you know Cincinnati better watch out. When you start misleading people, it's Max. <laughs> It's hard to keep up with the truth. I mean, you know, he. I mean, I would love to see uh, him strapped up to a lie detector test as that answer starts. Can you imagine? It would look like you're having a coronary. Well, Paul, what what what, what <laughs> would have what been the right way we, you would have liked to hear him answer that question if he were open to it? Like, you know, we talk about, hey, Mike well, Tomlin is very way, declarative, right? Like. Yeah, the best way to say is, listen, I've already answered that. Even if you haven't answered the question, uh, just say you have. I mean, he, he addressed this a couple of weeks ago with, with, with another, uh, another speech. Uh, you just don't, you don't, you just, all you, the best answer is, I appreciate it. I respect your, your question. I answered it four or five weeks ago. I'm getting ready. And then look down to make sure you know who you're playing on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, when, when we talk about James Franklin, 
we, in particular at USC, it's, we've hired three different head coaches since his tenure at Penn State. And every single year, his name keeps coming up, whatever, with job openings. What's the better job for him? LSU or USC, giving his background in regions he's coached in? I think he would be better off going to USC because, uh, to me, uh, you know, he's a CEO coach. And I don't mean that as, an, uh, as a shot. That means that, that he, he is in command of the program. And, and I think at SC, you know, he built, you know he's, he's already got people on that staff, Keyshawn, as you well know better than I do, who, who he could keep in place and maintain recruiting and relationships where LSU is a is is is, is a maze. Uh, you go down there, it's a, it's a different world, and, and you know I think you know, you hear the word fit all the time, but I think he's a better fit out there, uh, because it you know I think he would relate well to that city. Uh, you know he 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 would need to clean up uh, some of his uh, you know his, some of his misleading statements because you know that that won't you know in Hollywood you have to do it a lot. Uh, you have to do it bigger and and better and and broader than. Than, than, be, than, than be obvious that you're not telling the truth. Yeah, he also referred to Penn State making a trip to the big house. <laughs> they play at Ohio State, <laughs> not Michigan. <laughs> no, I got it wrong twice. Hey, let, let, me, let me say this in fairness to, to James Franklin. It, I, I felt the same way after watching that nine overtime game the other day with Illinois. So I, 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 I'm going to cut him some slack having to All coach right. in it. I don't think he, he's probably thinking clearly in the aftermath. Uh, that's very generous of you, Paul we're, Feinbaum. We're getting Mike Tomlin anyway, so. Right, right. Yeah. What do you care? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.